The thin strip of land between the modern-day republics of Benin and Ghana lies the Republic of Togo, sandwiched between the once great kingdoms of Dahomey to the east and the Ashanti to the west. This European creation is home to a mixture of different peoples, particularly the Ewe and the Aja people. Before its independence in 1960, this one-time French colony held a referendum either join their cousins as part of Ghana or stay independent. Choosing the latter has meant that my search for Vodun must carry me across a border and into another country. Fortunately, I spent three years at school here, so the place seems somewhat familiar. At the outbreak of the First World War, Germany was in control of the created countries of Cameroon, Tanganyika, Namibia and Togoland while France and Britain dominated the rest of West Africa. The German government, with African labor and expertise, erected a command center at a small town near the center of the country called Kamina. From here, they communicated with the rest of their colonies in Africa and Germany. I'm deviating slightly from my agenda and heading over to see it. My journey takes me through the very scenic routes of rural Togo. Kamina Funk Station hasn't been used for over a hundred years. The Togolese government hasn't maintained it much either. And why should they? Technology has moved on. And like most grand inventions during the colonial era, Kamina was built for the oppressor's benefit using low pain and very often forced African labor. Ah, see, si, see. Si. Oh, ok. The old officer's mess is now used as a post office. If this was 1913, I'd probably be beaten for being in here. Old. Oh. 
Camina was destroyed shortly after the war began in 1914. The French annexed Togo and Camina ceased to operate shortly after. The families of those who built it still live here today. Their names are inexistent on any records. Their efforts not even acknowledged. Germany barely even allowed Africans to join its colonial army, with only a few thousand across the continent. But the French were different. Their policy of La France Afrique said that if Africans could strive to be partially French sometime in the future, then they would have a place in their army. And they enlisted tens of thousands of Africans to fight on their side. In the French West African colony of Senegal, they gave the responsibility of recruitment to the first black man ever elected to French parliament. His name was Blaise Diane. These men who were mostly conscripts would go on to campaign in Burma and at least 200,000 in the trenches of Europe. Senegalese troops would be influential in the takeover of Kamina at a small place called Wahala, only a few kilometers from here. This small memorial is dedicated to the soldiers who died in that battle of August 1914. These men died here at the exact same time as the first shots were being fired in Europe between Germany and France. Okay. Il y a plus de Togolais là-bas. No, no, no. Il n'y a pas de Togolais. Et il y avait beaucoup de Sénégalais qui étaient sergents. À l'époque, là, eh, ce sont des tirailleurs qui étaient au Bénin, hein? au Ghana, au Niger, au Nigeria. Or, ils sont des Sénégalais qui sont, ils sont des leaders. Ça. Oui, oui, oui. oui. Eh, eh, quand ils sont venus, bon, les Allemands qui étaient, eh, ils étaient eh, résidents à Kamina. À Kamina, oui, oui. Et, bon, ils ont vu que bon, là-bas, ça, ça dépasse. Ah. Ils ont fui, ils, ont, ils sont venus ici. Oui, oui. C'est ici que la guerre est finie. OK. History books do not show that African soldiers were among the first to die in the First World War. And only the Allied casualties are recorded here. Their British and French commanders each has his own tomb. 21 Africans share just one. No tombs here or at Kamina for the Togolese who lost their lives. Like the conquering of Dahomey 30 years earlier, under the mixed-race Senegalese commander Dodds, Senegalese were at the forefront of the conquering of another nation. Only this time, it was for the benefit of one white nation over another, at the expense of black lives. The battle for Wahala and Kamina would mark a significant change in the lives of the people of this region. It saw Togoland go from a German colony to a French one. Germany's surrender in 1918 saw them lose all their occupied territories. Blood-related monarchs in Germany, Britain, Russia and France, unable to solve their differences in a civilized manner, instead turned to warfare which saw thousands, if not millions, of African lives affected. People who once saw themselves as brothers and sisters now fought against each other because enemy occupiers, once again, proved incapable of living in peace. Germany would rise again under Adolf Hitler, but they would first do a mass genocide experiment on no fewer than one million Africans at Shark Island in Namibia.
Before the partitioning of Africa in 1884, a large area of Togo was once part of the Kingdom of Dahomey. Kingdoms were established along the coasts of modern Benin and Togo to facilitate the enslavement of Africans, causing Europeans to name this the Slave Coast. Each usually had a fort with a church in it. These forts would usually take days to march to, especially in shackles and trying to avoid capture and taxation by different groups. Very close to the beach, at a place called Agbodrafo, lies a peculiar house that indicates just how lucrative whites found shipping Africans to the Americas. The owner of this house would have carte blanche over the enslaved people within this region. Quelques l'esclavage a eu lieu en Afrique ou dans le monde entier. Mm -hmm. C'est ainsi que le Togo aussi n'est pas si épargné. Mm -hmm. Mais pour le Togo, c'est un cas exceptionnel. Oui, je crois. Exceptionnel parce que le commerce a eu lieu dans la clandestinité. Mm -hmm. Donc c'est au moment où la toute première abolition a eu lieu que ces commerçants ont eu l'occasion de bien s'installer ici. Pour aussi l'ont débuté en 1830. 1830. Et le terminé en 1852. Mm -hmm. De la maison à la côte à l'époque était à 1,5 km. Il n'y avait même pas de maison en c'était en pleine forêt. Donc ils ont pu construire la maison au niveau de la forêt pour éviter le contrôle. Mm -hmm. Quant à la maison architecturale, appelé style la foule brésilienne à deux phases. Il y a une phase inférieure qui est sur le bâtiment, à peine 1,50 m, correspond au cal du bateau à l'époque pour ses esclaves, mmh. et la phase supérieure pour ses commerçants. Mmh. Quant aux esclaves, ils les ramenaient depuis l'extrême nord du Togo. Même le Togo n'existait pas de à l'époque, mmh. ce n'était que des royaumes, les empires de la principauté. Particulièrement au delà de Chamba, Sokode, Palimé, Atakbame, Wanjé Tadou, sans oublier la vallée du Mono, tout près d'Anero aussi. Et puis, il les groupait dans le marché nommé le Kochisime, derrière le lac, dans le village de Dépo. Une fois allés à l'intérieur, ils sont obligés d'être accroupis, mm. assis et couchés là, qui ne peuvent même pas se tenir debout. Ils sont dedans. Dès que le bateau est venu, c'est vrai qu'il les faisait sortir de nouveau. The house is undergoing some major renovations at the moment. It still attracts tourists from all over the place, looking for interesting bits of history. Bon, là, nous sommes au salon de ces commerçants à l'époque. Et c'était les portes des chambres qui a son métier sur le salon. Il y en a eu quatre, le deuxième mot. Ce n'est que le plafond et le tatou qui étaient changés. Avant, c'était fait avec des plages comme ça. Mm -hmm. Bon, maintenant, pour donner à manger à ces esclaves ou leur communiquer, ils ont été arrivés dans Les esclaves peuvent rester ici pour combien de temps Ils peuvent rester au moins une à deux semaines. Mais le plus souvent, ça dépend de l'arrivée du bateau. Les, les, les dames et. Les dames et les messieurs. Wow. Mmh. Oh. This is not a safe environment. This is like the movie Sankofa. Can you imagine this is where people would stay for a week or two and then have to go and be subjected to those boat rides? <sighs> Man, this is incredible. This is horrible. Let's see what's back there. I can't help but think how many of my relatives could have passed through houses like this, waiting in those holes for the ships to come in and put them in even more uncomfortable surroundings. Perhaps my worst fear is the thought of my wife or daughter being dragged out of that hole at night.
Within its compound is a family of artisans, working away trying to sell remnants of their old way of life before the influx of Christianity. Documenting a culture's history was done on much more locally produced elements, stolen and put in museums all around the world. When we speak of reparations, we must demand the return of these stolen works of art. To enslave a person requires enslaving their mind first. Missionaries were the first to arrive in Africa. Their knowledge of local languages and roots opened the door to white explorers, informing them about the black kingdoms of the inner coast. Whilst these missionaries didn't pose an immediate physical threat, they did begin to translate their Bible into local languages in order to deflect the Africans from thousands of years worth of spirituality. The concept of good and evil was introduced, whereas African spirituality showed that both good and evil worked in tandem. Africans weren't to know that the Eurasian, coming out of a 10,000 year ice age in Europe, lacking in food and comfort, trusting nobody, including his woman, had developed an attitude of only the strong shall survive. Albeit psychologically, they would see to it that they would never experience lack. Some of the first churches built were in slave castles like Elmina. Some of the first slave ships would be named after biblical phrases like the good ship Jesus. And on these ships, rapists and murderers would compose songs such as Amazing Grace. When Africa was conquered, this foreign religion moved to the mainstream. Africans were forced to rid themselves of their African names in missionary schools, and the world's first spiritual people abandoned their reverence for the atmosphere and followed a god who looked nothing like them. Them can't come on ya. Pony or them a left ear trauma. Look at them, the near African daughter. Gone like a thief in the night to their mother. King Leopold could never father. The matter African man when slaughter. Come with the Bible when I take your offer. African spiritual system marauder. Chop me arm and leg and teach me black. Turn on one me be patriots. Here, colonist country. I miss me with that thing. Royal African a big idiot. Napoleon a one like him never come squat. Pony native than a ear to be called that. The best equality the French them a chat. But them never mean no ones in a France where they blah. Just outside Lomé is a small quarter where you'll find the bulk of the city's Beninese population. This is where Hosu lives and where he agreed to meet me tonight. A well-known Vodun priest in the area with qualifications to match, I'm interested in hearing what he has to say about Vodun itself. Le Vodun que les hommes va utiliser pour donner la force, mm. c'est Karatan. Ah. Mais ce n'est pas expliquer tout. Ok, ok. Tu as compris? Oui, oui, oui. oui. Donc, euh, le jour que votre papa baisait votre mère là, mm. si le jour tu vas devenir un bébé, ce bébé là, Bidji va, va dire que ce bébé là, il va donner un esprit. Quel esprit que Bidji va donner? Des fois, il dit que moi je suis Dieu, moi je ne suis pas le temps. Il va donner un esprit éteint. Mm -hmm. Il y a beaucoup d'éteint. Mm -hmm. Et goût, c'est un esprit. Mm -hmm. Sont fondés à Nigeria. Chaque esprit a son travail. Africans around the world view Vodun and other African spiritual systems 
as their enslaved intended. After Africans from across the continent rose up in Haiti, it became known as voodoo and witchcraft. Its true meaning has been bastardized by films, missionaries, and the Europeanization of Africans. Le blanc trompe les Africains. Moi, je petit, je petit, je petit. Mm -hmm. Si on dit comme ça, si le blanc attend, on tue les gens qui tu ça. Bon, il y a oublié que si elle tue les gens, lui-même va mourir un jour. C'est comme ça. Mm -hmm. Ce mm -hmm. qu'on a oublié. À cause de ça, si le président africain va réveiller du peuple, ce que les blancs contre l'Afrique là, ce n'est pas bon. Lui-même, on a indépendant déficit. On dit que indépendant d'Afrique, pas encore indépendant. Afrique, il est en retard. Normalement, l'Afrique et le monde entier compris, si on parle de Jésus là, c'est le Benzam, on parle. Ce que le Benzam fait, qui est sous le parfait comme ça, mmh. dans le monde entier. Comme on ne peut pas développer, donc pourquoi on a créé l'église Le plan lui-même fait la création. Mmh. Aujourd'hui, tu peux aller en France, en Europe, il y a un vieux, l'homme de 90 ans, 70 ans, il va aller à l'église. Tu ne vas pas trouver les enfants comme ça, il n'y a pas de temps. Mmh. Donc, euh, si tu as écouté la parole de Dieu, hein, mm -hmm. tu n'as pas fait mal quelqu'un. À ce temps, il n'y a pas de beaucoup d'églises, mm -hmm. c'est catholique. Maintenant, aujourd'hui, les gens prennent l'église pour faire la commerce. Comme le blanc sait qu'il y a beaucoup de forces dans l'Afrique, il vient ici pour tromper mon grand-père, dit que ça... Ce n'est pas bon. Mmh. Le jour qu'on va dire comme ça, il vient ici, le noir va expliquer le secret d'Afrique. Il connaît tout. Le secret du vaudou. Le vaudou, ça, c'est ça. Le vaudou n'est pas perdu dans le monde mmh. entier. Mmh. Jamais de la vie. La force que tu as donnée à l'Afrique n'est pas donnée à d'autres pays. C'est l'Afrique qui est la première. Tu as compris? On ne peut pas laisser le vaudou pour suivre le plan et avant on va développer. C'est faux. Ok, ici c'est bon. Merci. The last stop on my journey is a 150 year old market near Lumé. It's called a fetish market. Another example of poor European translation of the Fongbe language. Hello. Hello, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. How so are we you? Can, I'm fine. Thank you. You're coming to visit everything here. Yes, yes, no yes. Problem. We are here to help you and we explain everything to you. Hi. Mm. Uh, the animal we have in here, we have a relation the whole of Africa. Mm -hmm. When the local people see the animal die natural, the person bring it and sell it, then we buy. That's true. Before we dry it, then we put it in here. Okay. Then we help the, 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 problem, the problem of the people, different okay. kind of the problem. Okay. Because of the fetish market, there were whole time we don't have a hospital in Africa. Uh, so that is our king. We badger prepared the this market. When somebody have the, the problem, sickness, the problem, spiritual problem, the person come to our market in here. So okay. it's, it's used for good to help your body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's something good. like the protection that we do, okay, many things of the thing. Okay. But if you have the problem, come to our market in here, fetish market, then you have to go see the fetish man inside the room. Ah, okay. And okay. the fetish have to consent. Okay. That is the traditional consent. Then right. we know the problem of the person before we come out. Uh -huh. Then we come and through the animal, different kind of the herbs. Uh -huh. Then we bring the animal inside the room. After bring the animal inside the home, okay, the fish have somebody come and peel the animal, and sometimes then we ground to make the powder. When we transmit the powder, so this powder is not to drink. No, mm. sometimes I'm see me, I'm not a fetish man, but I'm happy the fish of people come here. Yeah. Okay, this powder you can put it in the fresh water, then you bath, and sometimes you can put it in the bath you use in your body when it's a natural problem. But when it's a spiritual problem, you need to speak to the yeah the yeah. fish man can take this mm. water and prepare the amulets. Okay. And this amulet before give the person go to use. And the person have to give the name to him and the family name. 
and our fish maker my blessings mm. before I give the person go to yours. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If I have a pain in my back, <laughs> what do I what can I take? If you have a very pain, yes, stomach pain or stomach to okay. That is the medicine. Mm -hmm. That is yes. a different kind of the herbs yeah. and the fishermen fill it ground, make yeah. the powder. Okay, that is the new one helps be fine before we press it to it. Mm, also yeah. what we put in here many years now, no, no okay. this, one, this one we drink. Okay. 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 So what's this used for? Dog. Okay, head up dog. Yeah. And head up for crocodile, different kind of the herbs. Uh, I'm see so that the, when they were fishing, we want to prepare one kind of the fetish. And this fetish we call it in our country. The name is Legba. 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 Okay, that's in the phone line. Yes, okay. that's in the phone bay mm. in our country, Benin mm. language. Mm. Because of every place you see the market here, we are from Benin. Okay, okay. But we are here before the col colonizer people come divide the country. Ah, so you've been here for almost 200 years. I see the yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Long yeah, time. Like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then we have the head of the snake. And this is the What's the snake? The What's the head of the snake used for? And this is the vipers here. And this is the mamba. So we have the cobra, cobra in the water place. But what, 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 how can the snake help you? Uh, we prepare up the medicine to vaccinate the people like the snake vaccination. Ah, vaccination of, course, of the snake. Of course, snake vaccination, of yeah, course. Yeah. yeah, that means when the snake bites you, no problem. Yeah, yeah, you, oh, that's bite common snake. sense, yes, of course. So when you see something like this and there are market in here, and this is just for the decoration. Yeah, this is not the real thing. No, to British, nothing of this. Mm -hmm. Because of the people have, the people do the black magic, mm -hmm. they have something like this and do back of the people. But here, we are going to make the like, decoration to put it and mm -hmm. show the people. Yeah. So yeah. if you buy this one, bring it everywhere, it's no problem. Because me, I want to understand how I can use this to feel better. So let's say I have pain in my body. What can you recommend that I do? I take maybe this, the, the, uh, cham the chameleon and I sleep under it, or I th it's something I can drink, I don't know. Okay, when I was sleeping here, I was okay. sleeping here. You see, when they, they, I'm saying so that when they, they were to want to pay something and use to get good sleep after the person gets good memory, mm -hmm. she's coming through the chameleon, something like a 41 chameleon. 41 chameleon. Yes, and yeah. a 41 herbs. Yeah. Now yeah. she's give somebody and person fill it mm -hmm. to ground and make the powder. Mm. After transferring like the powder, you know the uh, ebano seeds, the black drink. Oh, the, yeah, the, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fishermen and take this one, something like, uh, okay, 100 C, mm. the ebano seed, and put it there, this one, uh, uh, what we ground and make the powder. And the fishermen starting to put it someplace. After 41 days before collecting on the sea, so this sea and take the chameleon power of the herbs power. So if you use this seed, if the sea have to help you, then you must get good sleeping after you get good memory. So if you want to use, then you put it in here, put it in here, then you make like this, before you put it under the pillow. You put it like this, like, like, like a cross? Like here. Yeah, like a cross. Okay. Before you put it under the pillow, then you must go and sleep. Ah. Ah, you have to see, so ah, that is very Essentially, nice. this is a market of Vodun where before the arrival of Europeans, locals would come there for medical and spiritual healing. So that is the skin of a snake boa here. Yeah. You see this snake, we have another again, something like a... Four, four meter. I have the water place. Four meters. Four meters. Wow. And, uh, we don't have the big one in our country here, but somebody bring it in the north of Cameroon and come and sell it, then we okay. buy it. Okay. Before we leave the skin. So let me ask you, you, are you, have you, um, have you been bitten by a snake before? Me? You? Or yeah. you've been bitten by a snake? They bite you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, really. And nothing happened to you because you have, the, you have the... When the snake bites somebody now, I can't leave the venomous. Because of the person give this one, so I can help the person to, leave the, to come out the venom, venomous. Wow. When the dog eats somebody, I can't come out of course, yeah. the venomous. Because ah. of the person give me this one to help me for my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. And this element... That is the first money in Africa used and our country here. It's the first? That is the first money. Something like uh, 1,000 CFA we use in the whole time. This is the big money. Mm. This one is something like 500 in the whole time. They have the big. Yeah. The last big, this is something like 1,000 we use in the whole time. Because of, you know, the, the whole time. Okay. Yeah. So, so you, 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 you guys... We use another medicine again. It's also used for yeah, medicine. Yes. Of course, if you, yeah. stop, if you have somebody get the rheumatism and the body pains, uh, yeah. you yes. can put it this one yeah. in the fresh water and the person bath. Every night before you go to sleep. Okay, before you want to go to sleep, you take the thunderstorm, then you rub the place where she's paying you. Mm. Before you go and sleep. One week after, you have to know, ah, that is very good. Then. So, so, fetish market is a small market. Mm. But it's very, very, very interesting and it's, market. It's for good things. Very interesting market yeah, all yeah, over the area. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, you know, many people are scared. Many people get very scared. You see. So, this is the thing. It's important to show them that, look, this is for good and it's natural. Mm. It's natural as well. Oh. You know, in Haiti, 
Haiti. Yes, they Haiti. have, they Haiti, have uh, Brazil, many, many countries, and okay, Cuba. Cuba. Africa, Cuba, Cuba. Yeah. The people practice the what we because it's here. people from Benin who yes. have gone there like as slaves that became I they know. Took the, first, the first the first voted out place is the Benin country. Mm. After Benin Togo inside here. Yeah. What region of Ghana? Volta region of Are you Ghana. been of Ghana before? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. Volta yeah, region of Ghana? The Eve side, like Eve? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so what can this do for you? The head of the baboon. The baboon? Yeah. It's to prepare for a different kind of the thing. Yeah. Not one self. No, I can never tell you this one. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> That's the inside of a baboon's head. Or mouth, yeah, rather. Again. That's the inside of a baboon. <laughs> You people, do you um, teach your children about this or do you allow them to also go and do Christianity? Islam? So you see the magic we practice in here. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this uh, the, the religion, that is the good religion for every, uh, okay, it's good for everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes we practice this one, that we use the Christianity again. And sometimes we, we can't use something like the Muslim people again. Mm -hmm. because we can't practice the Muslim religion, that we can practice. Okay, uh, Christian, Christian is, you can practice and they are, they are magic again, because of their magic is not the black magic, you know, mm. something like that, the people know, something like that to help the people, you see, mm, so mm, mm. that is no problem for somebody, no, yeah. but when it's there, the people do the black magic, mm -hmm. that is not good for, for everybody, mm. this is not good for everybody. And most people who practice Vodou, they are good, they are doing it for good, the it's not for bad. Vodou, Vodou, that is the good magic, yeah. Yeah. it's the good magic. Mm. Good, good medicine. Yeah, good medicine. Good medicine. Good medicine and a good, 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 good uh, uh, magic. Good magic. Yes. Merci <laughs> beaucoup. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very no, much. No problem. <laughs> thank no you. Problem. Thank no you. Problem. Thank you. I've come to the end of my trip here. It's hard to imagine what this place was like because so much of its history focuses on the recent enslavement period. This we cannot ignore. We must also remember that Africans were the first to populate the earth in every stage of human development. So our existence here cannot be focused on the last 300 or 400 years, despite the successes of its local kingdoms like at Dahomey. Before Europeans arrived, hungry for the riches in our soil, we respected the land, the animals, and our fellow human beings. When they left, we became poor, lacking in self-dignity, self-knowledge, and betraying the environment. After less than 60 years of independence under these conditions, it's no surprise things have not gone well. Had the complex political systems, as of that of Dahomey, been maintained and evolved, perhaps things will be different today. Africa is a paradox, poor but resource wealthy. And whilst France and Germany turn a blind eye to their looting of people and natural wealth, they call the Fon, the Tofino, the Ewe, the Yoruba, uncivilized. History shows Africans have been anything but that. Despite the numerous churches and mosques, we have lost our way. The irony is that while the creators of these religions live in wealth, after breaking the fundamental principles associated with their God. The African world has more churches than any other place, yet she lives under the same rape and murder-filled culture that she was once enslaved by. Perhaps it's time to return to the source. Perhaps it's time to return fully to Vodun. If you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, please go to GoFundMe at Honora Africa Project and contribute whatever you can. Every little helps. Thank you.